watching. Life is good. Come on now. Okay, well, we just dropped the trailer. In 0.2 miles, turn right. Here at the spa place, they're dragging all the way home. Take the entrance to the right in 760 feet. Shut up. It's 35 miles from right here to the house. And 35 miles back. So we just decided to leave the trailer here. Load will be ready at 10 o'clock in the morning. So we just left the trailer. Still taking the trailer all the way home and bringing it all the way back. We left it. And so we'll come back tomorrow, hook it back up, put it on the dock, get her loaded, and then get ready for uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma on uh, Monday. Leave it out Sunday. Sorry I didn't video any of that, but anyway, let's go home. We'll uh, show you guys the loading facilities uh, when we come back tomorrow. Hopefully the trailer's okay there. I didn't lock it up. I didn't put no kingpin on it, lock on it. Uh, blah, blah. So hopefully she is safe and we'll be there tomorrow. They have a guard shack and everything, so hopefully it'll be okay there, Roger. You can almost see it right there on the right, the camera. I can see it. See you later, Trevor. Don't go anywhere. Be back for you tomorrow. Can't drive. See ya. I'll tell you what really sucks. This thing right here is clean. I washed it in uh, Knoxville because it was nasty. But as you can tell, my trailer is gone. Oh yeah, look, I got I put gravels down where the trailer goes. But the trailer's gone. I dropped it at the uh, shipper. I gotta go pick it up. It wasn't supposed to rain, I didn't think, but now they're calling for rain all day. There's like a little bit of a break here and there. But I'm gonna have to go get her dirty. And uh, that sucks. That, that was a it's a hundred bucks to wash that bad boy, you know. But it's got a job to do. Let's go get her done. Well, let's hope you guys are recording. This rain sucks, but these new windshield wipers are killer, man. Check them things out. Love it. Costco, $399. Those other ones had 157,000 miles on them. The factory ones, they lasted forever. Well, they wasn't bad, I could have kept running them. But I'm like, well, why not? Normal lifespan, about six months on a wiper blade. Uh, but these here, man, I, I mean, for less than $8 for both. I gotta go back to Costco and buy some more. So we're gonna go over here and see if this trailer's ready to go. It's clean. Gonna get it dirty. Uh, I checked the forecast for where I'm going. And uh, tree limbs are low, hitting my antenna. Tell you what, rain and weights down the tree limbs and makes them sag. So just because you run the road all the time, don't mean you won't hit the branches. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. So anyway, just try to be careful and watch your overhanging. So anyway, I checked the forecast where we're going. It's going to be raining all the way up. 70% uh, chance all the time I'm there. Uh, which is no big deal now. I'm not crying about the rain and the truck getting dirty. It's just what I've got to do with the truck when I get to Tulsa. I would like for the truck to be clean. Uh, and the trailer to be clean as well. Uh, going to have some work done. That's to be disclosed later. Uh, you know, I like to put the vehicles in the shop clean. 
so uh, it sucks man it really really sucks anyway let's go see if my trailer's still there this thing's like driving a sports car without a trailer on the back look it looks like a different view back there too doesn't it nothing back there man this thing just she's fast ladies and gentlemen she's fast I'm not going to go fast. That's the speed limit right there. We're not going to exceed the speed limit. Because I heard you say, well, how fast is she, driver? Oh, no. Can't show you that. I did make a modern-day Monfort truck video. Go watch that one. The little girl has no trouble running whatever speed you want to run. Come on. Well, we were like the cruise right there at 70, so we don't get in trouble. We don't want to get in trouble. Not today. So I think if we'd waited about a half an hour, we probably could have caught a dry pocket. So there's no current, no rain. Probably could have stayed clean all the way up there and back. But no. I mean, it's 10:45. We're supposed to be there at nine. We got a half an hour to go yet. It's 35 mile journey. I like the way he painted his door handles. I need to paint my door handles brown on the back of my trailer. I'll probably could take a couple of them off at a time. Take all four of them off as far as that goes. I have a body shop paint them brown. Or buy a rattle can and paint them myself. I don't know how that good that would work, but I then take a couple of hinges off at a time and send them off for paint. You don't want to take that whole door off. Holy smokes, that thing's. I think that one door is about 1,100 pounds. One, just one door, you know. Come over here, Western and cars. They have no respect, sir. No respect at all, my man. You're welcome, kind sir. We are Bobtail, and he's working. Got to support the working man. Yes, sir. I never, have, I never have liked a Bobtail get in my way. If I'm pulling a load, pulling a hill, there's nothing that irks me worse than a Bobtail not letting me out. You know, because yeah, you're faster. You're like a four wheeler, but still, you're a truck driver you should understand and be more uh, compassionate and cooperative and to your fellow driver when I'm bobtail if a truck needs out or whatever he's got it when I'm bobtail he has the right away because he's working I'm just out here joyriding so yes sir yes sir which is what we're doing today, joy riding. Joy riding in the rain. Come on. Riding clean on a dirty road. Beep, beep. That's why we like to do it. Okay, see you. I am looking for my trailer. Sitting over to the left. Ah, is that it? Yep, it's still there. Woo. Thank you, Lord. We didn't lock it. We didn't do nothing. Go over here and get that thing loaded up with some hot tubs. Come on. Get some hot tubs. There's my beautiful wagon. What's your wife? What's your wife? Oh, yeah. Microphone. My new windshield whoppers are squeaky. Man, that sure is a pretty trailer. Come on. That's the best part of this whole operation is that wagon right there. She is shocked. Where'd that golf cart go? There's a golf cart back there. I'm gonna hook this little wagon back up. Yes, sir. Put some hot tubs in that bad boy. Get us some hot tub action going on. Come on. I could use a little hot, hot tub time. 
All right, windshield wipers are getting on my nerves. They just make a little tiny squeak. You can't even hardly really hear it, you know? And uh, it's not much at all. We had to drop the fifth row because it got new grease. I think I raised it up. This Holland fifth wheel, man, it's got, it's got to be perfect. If you're a little high, or the little truck's a little low, I mean, if the tr truck is lower than the, I mean, it doesn't take much and it won't, it won't connect, you know? I have jumped this fifth wheel twice. Did it hook? I have jumped it twice and, uh, what that means, um, high hook it, and what that means is that it comes above the fifth wheel plate. The kingpin down here will come over that plate and come on this side. You're talking about fun. You got to hope you can drop your airbags enough to get back under it, you know. So, uh, yeah. I gotta fix all this right here. I took all this wire off. Of course, all this is getting done. I wanna redo it. I wanna redo it. I got another cable, another pigtail. We, uh, we're going to solve that problem. See, the trailer's nice and clean and shiny. It cost, that cost a hundred, hundred dollars to wash this outfit. And that's why I'm grappling, you know, I just washed it yesterday. And it wasn't supposed to rain, you know. But over here in these parts, man, you can never tell. It's good. The weather, man, they suck at their job. They lie. They lie like crazy. All right, we're going to just go right in here, pick this load up, and then we'll pre-trip everything while they're loading it while they are loading it come on it's gonna go right down there they went eating in the rain he was he was eating the whole patch why are you gonna just mow it well he's riding over there anyway that guy was good with the weed eater he's just he needs to come to my house needs some weed eating so i think we're gonna go right over here to this dock but we're gonna pull up here and check in first I tell you what, I wouldn't mind having a hot tub on my back porch, but those things are a lot of maintenance. It's about easier to have a swimming pool. I got some long ones there, they might be swimmers. But anyway, we gotta go check in before we uh, do all this tight maneuvering. I'm pretty sure we're gonna, I, I, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and set up for dock six. Um, uh, nope, nope, nope. There's a big truck in there. We're gonna set up for seven. Let's go ahead and put it. Well, you know what? Let's go check in first. Holy smokes. Well, I hope you guys are straight again. Yep, yeah, we went and checked in. And, uh, door six. I thought I was trying to wait on the rain to stop. He kind of laughed. He said, yeah, stupid weather, man. But anyway, because uh, yeah, he's thinking my trailer yesterday, and he commented about how clean it was. I said, yeah, well, not anymore. So this old girl right here is kind of long, but I'm thinking that we can shoot up into this dock right here and get pretty well lined up. We hope. Follow la la. You guys 
guys see back there? I think she'll come around. We gotta keep, uh, make sure that forklift's going back in his hole. They keep the nose off that wall over there and the trailer off this corner over here. So, yep, should be good. And uh, get back up and under just a tad. Oh, yeah. I'm not used to doing all this with my seat all the way on the floor. But I do that so you guys can see, you know. Man, this is a, this is a beautiful piece of cake right here. I was having to do a whole lot of, see a lot of guys do a lot of swing, you know. I try to keep my swinging down to minimum because it doesn't take much to make this nose up here move to get the trailer back there to go. You know, a couple inches up here is a couple feet back there. You'll see guys jack that thing and then they jack it back and then they jack it back. And then they wind up getting in trouble. They wind up hitting the poles and the buildings and blah, 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 you know. So, I'm going to turn them things off. That's annoying, you know. That is annoying, come on. But this 290, you just about got to jack it some because of the wheelbase. It's pivot point. Uh, I'll give you a prime example right here in just a moment. Uh, come on, baby. We're almost there. Should be right there. Now this guy here is a little bit longer than most your trucks, which as you can tell, I'm right here where I see it is above his steering wheel, right? So his seat is further back. See that? See the difference in the length of a normal? Well, that was not normal. He's a little bit longer than some of your stubbier trucks. He's probably about 275. Let's just go look because we got to put the wheel chocks down. Hang on. Let's get this e-log going here. We're going to go on duty. We're going to hook this trailer up. Why right, is this trailer 28? And hey, we'll come back and pre trip in a minute. Alright, so we uh I had oil, an oil rag in there from the speed coast floor. I gotta clean this. I gotta take a um clean that up. I got an oil all over it. I didn't get me a magic eraser. Let me go to the store. So we have our parking lights on. See our lights are on? That's because our switch right here. It runs our trailer lights on the inside. And those will stay on currently for one hour. I can reset that to 90 minutes. Uh, but I just set my stopwatch for uh, one hour. And then that way I know. That way I know uh, when to turn it back on. It's kind of loud. So beautiful. They gotta finish loading this guy up. See his um uh, his wheels. He's about. I'm gonna say it's probably 275. We'll ask him. Uh, but as you can see, see here's the center of my my hub. But it's not too bad. It's right behind where his rim is. So he's got a little bit of a got a little bit of a gap. He's longer than your average uh truck see we're only a couple we're only a couple feet right here longer than he is so uh we got to take measure out and measure that you know but he's yeah he's a little longer than your average uh schmo so yeah clean wagon man we're gonna get her dirty come on i think we're in the dock pretty good could just walk inside and look at it, you know. But I think we're uh, 
Oh yeah, so the dog fights about center. We did good. Alright, we'll see y'all at 12. Holy smokes, man. You thought I ticked off, dude. It is uh, 10 after 5. Beautiful skies. Dry roads. The guy says, oh, be here at 10 o'clock. We'll load you right up. Stupid, man. Chicken lights is on. And then he asked me for a business card. <laughs> I was, was kind of in there fussing a little bit. And uh, I said, dude, man, I were in a $100 wash job. I could have waited another, another hour. And we would have been good, you know? Anyway, a load of hot tubs. So. And I went and got the truck dirty. And he said, uh, who do you drive for? I said, well, I said, I drive myself. He's like, uh, you know, he didn't quite comprehend that. I said, no, man, I drive, for my, I drive myself. I'm, it's my whole truck deal, truck, trailer, everything, you know? So anyway, he, he wanted a business card. He'd much rather call me living direct, living close. He said, we ship all over the east, from Texas this way. And I said, well, okay, dude. I said, I got, I got quite a few friends, man, that lives in this area that, uh, hang on, let me fix this mic. I got friends that live in this area that have trucks. If I'm not around, well, one of us might be, you know? Uh, yeah. So cool. I don't like it, you know. They got it. Took uh, six hours. Well, he said this was not normal because they the should none of the shipping guys were here today. So I think I'm gonna go out to the far left because going right that car. So somebody might gig me going out the end gate. One of my subscribers. Because uh, I just got in a fight with one of them at the 27 minute mark on this one video I ran a four-way stop and I didn't run it I went back and watched it find out what he's talking about and sure enough is it I don't know where there was no cars anywhere around but I did I ran it you know but anybody sit there and critique that video and point that out as just being a critic you know for no reason and I'm like uh, you know, well, okay, dude, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? And, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Call Ghostbusters. Or call Jimmy Crack Corn, you know? Uh, anyway, he got mad. And I was in a bad mood from doing this crap here. I got a date with my son at 6.30. It's 5.15. You know? So, uh, sucks, dude. Well, anyway, so there you go. We got her loaded. So we're going to take this thing back to the house. Wasted a whole day off today. Right here. It's supposed to be a real quick deal. Run up here, get loaded, and go right back home. Get a lot of stuff accomplished today. Stop sign, yield sign. See it? Yield sign to the right. We're going to yield to all this traffic. So, um... I didn't bring my laptop with me, and uh, I, you know I wasn't prepared to do anything, right? And uh, anyway, my DOT auditor called me, my state trooper, they're doing my six-month entry audit. Need some documents. Well, here I don't have my laptop. And he said, uh, "We'll have you pass today. We just need, you know, some more stuff." That volume goes up by itself. I swear it does. Uh, we was going to go over and get some fuel, but we ain't got time. I got to meet my son. It's 5.15. I got to be him. 6.30. We don't get home till 6. It's just, uh, I'm stressed, dude. I'm stressed. I don't like being late for a date. Come on. Right on red arrow after stop. We stop, and we're going to go right. Nothing's coming in this lane. 
guess I gotta start calling the uh, traffic signals, signs, you know? So anyway, yield, yield, yield. I'm gonna yield to the people here. Nothing coming. There you go. All right, so we're gonna um, wind this old girl up, man. We got to go, baby. We got to go. Gotta call my dad, get him lined up to block the road. Gotta call my girlfriend, tell her to get me a change of clothes ready. Try to freshen up the best I can. Life should not be this stressful, you know? Ridiculous. But anyway, what I said, we're gonna take this thing home. Today's Friday. We're gonna leave out early with it Sunday morning and uh, head to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma with it. So we'll see you guys Sunday to Tulsa later. Holy well, smokes. This riding around is getting expensive, isn't it? $589.70. Let's see, 157825. On the mileage, make sure my mileage was right on my receipt. And the, um, the thing there. All right. Let's see how many hours we got left to drive. We started out today. We still got five hours to go before we need a 30 minute break. 6.1. On the miles per gallon. Let's reset that. Reset. All right, navigation. Put that up out of your way. Uh, navigation. Let's make sure that thing's turned down. I think it's my bloody nerves. All right. Continue driving to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Make sure I pull my pen. So, we just came out here to this TA. I don't know if this is Franklin. Is this Franklin? I think it is Franklin, Tennessee. I don't know why we don't ever think about it. We took that 840. Now for some reason that Petro on 40 right there, that little Petro 2, I don't think it's in my Nastic. It doesn't show up as a fuel stop in my Nastic on my app. So, for some reason I never think about this right here because this TA is like, you get off 840 and it's the very first exit, you know. I'm like, well I'll just do that. Cause it was 278 a gallon with my nasty discount here. Um, let's see how much the receipt shows. The receipt shows the price per gallon is 303. But my nasty discount, it is. What do we got going on here? My nasty discount is uh, two dollars and some odd cents. They got something going to go on. I don't know if they're going to go on or has went on or it's over, but I don't know. Something back there's loose. They got a truck full of stuff, man. Got a suitcase back there. Uh, Got a lot of gear packed up, ready to go to Tulsa. Got a load of hot tubs, man. Got to get this load of hot tubs to Tulsa. Taking this thing back to the Peterbilt. Taking it back. Take it back. Come on. Yeah, there's a lot of those stinking new Volvos running around. 
I guess because they're so disposable. You don't see that many old ones. You see more new ones than you do old ones. And things. Been there, done that, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I don't know why we're just idiotic family. We turn the camera around and say good morning. And we are on our way to Tulsa. Trailer's clean, truck's dirty. So, uh, hopefully we'll find ourselves a truck wash before we get to Tulsa. Not like putting stuff in the shop dirty. Can you guys see how this mirror, see how the little spot mirror? See that on the ground there, that reflection? Can you guys see that? This thing is polished bad, you know? But, we ain't gonna have the funds, I don't think. We're gonna go spend a lot of money on uh, vanity crap. That's all it is. Everything we're having done in Tulsa is just vanity. That's all it is. It's not gonna make one more red cent when it comes to hauling freight. It's not gonna benefit the freight hauling capabilities. None whatsoever. But it'll look cool. But it is officially a complete, well I should say a complete waste of money. It's not business smart. We'll let it go with that. It's just not business smart to do what we're about to do on Tulsa. But it'll be good for video. It'll be good for public appearances. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so we're going to get back on 840 and continue our journey. Got to continue. That old girl was getting thirsty, man. I think we put 160 gallons. How many gallons did we put in here? 186 gallons. Woo! So I just asked, how many gallons did she hold? 270. That's what I was going to ask. We got 150 on the right side and 120 on the left side. DF's about a 29 gallon tank. I don't know. Uh, you know, you get people who have never seen this channel before and they ask all those questions. So, usually when I find someone new and interesting, I go and binge watch. And that's why all my videos are numbered, you know. And there's a playlist. You click on watch all the idiotic ramblings. It can take you from to episode one. And then you could have a weekend with you and your girlfriend pot up on the couch with a bowl of popcorn and watch idiotic ramblings with life is good. Yes, sir. But hopefully when I get to Tulsa, I can uh, shoot some good videos. Hopefully they've got, they've got some good inventory on the ground. So Ben, Eric, I think I said that correctly. Or shoot you a video, man, of some Peterbilt's in Tulsa. So be on the lookout, Ben. I'll hook you up. I will see you later. Are you guys straight? So, the last time we had the camera turned on was. 424 miles ago and I got to thinking you know I mentioned that fuel mileage 6.1 <laughs> which is going to stir up some controversy if you guys can see that now it says 6.8 running 70 but that's 425 miles I don't want y'all thinking, well, 6.1 is all you get, driver. Well, we don't care, man. Look at that, we're 6.8. I've been, I've been 6.8 all day, come on. But anyway, I, I turned the camera on. Uh, finally got a break between all the phone calls. Uh, I forgot to mention.
mentioned, you know, I was, I was frustrated about being at uh, the Super all day on Friday. Well, I got there at 11, didn't leave till 5. I was a little upset. But what happened was the shipper, the normal shipping guys didn't come to work. And um, one got fired, one didn't show up. I was in the hospital. I don't know what, you know, I don't know the whole story, but not my business. So anyway, that was the delay with the shipping. And I was in communication with the broker, and I was a little upset about it, you know. Mainly because I trashed, see, look, it's still not raining, right? But mainly because I trashed the truck to get up there to get the load. When the truck was clean, if you noticed in my last video, the truck was clean. And we were trying to keep it clean for where we were about to take it and drop it off. But now it's not. So anyway, uh, the broker uh, gave me a new rate con with a hundred bucks, and uh, he he said that he hadn't heard from the customer yet, uh, but he gave me a hundred dollars of his commission uh, toward the uh, for the the detention, and I and I. I uh, emailed him back and I said, uh, no, sir. I said, that wasn't your fault, you know. So for him to give me a uh, part of his commission, that was just wrong, man. I mean, you know, I mean, kudos to him. That's just, I mean, <clears throat> let me rephrase all that. I mean, he agreed to cover the load for X. I agreed to take the load for X. So, me getting delayed at the shipper was not his fault so therefore he should not be the one to have to pay out of his pocket for something that was beyond his control so I wouldn't take his I wouldn't take his money I'm like no man I, I don't know what he made on it he, he might have made he might have made as much on the run as I did does it matter I agreed to take the run at a rate, which by the way is 280 a mile, it's you know not I think it's 284, two dollars and eighty-four cents a mile. So it's not bad, you know, it's, we're good with that. I agreed to do it for that, right? Uh, for you Landstar guys, that's hundred percent, two dollars and eighty-four cents. Hundred percent. I'm not Landstar by the way, for you you people watching this, I'm a I'm on carrier. But anyway, so yeah, uh, I agreed to take it for that rate, and he agreed to cover it for the rate. So no use him giving me part of his money. That's uh, that's not right. So uh, anyway, so you guys might disagree. Oh well, brokers make blah blah blah. It doesn't matter what the broker makes. Uh, you don't like what the broker makes, then do a better job of negotiating your rates, and uh, and go out and go or go get your own good customers. You know, but don't don't fuss about the broker. The broker is just as valuable asset into this business as you are. <coughs> so anyway, there's that. Just thought I would let y'all know that because some of you guys probably already fussed about or probably already commented on the, on the delay. Hope you got attention. Well, that was a first come first serve. Uh, Appointment time, so therefore, I really don't think there'll be any detention paid. Yeah, it's frustrating. No, it's not the normal, and no, it's not the normal for that place. But oh, by the way, we're still 6.8. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Uh, but anyway, so yeah, you know, you have days like that. Now, if it had been a 10 o'clock appointment and they came in there to 5, then yes, we would demand detention. It's kind of hard to, kind of hard to do that on a first come, first serve. But anyway, we got uh, 184 miles to go and we will be in Tulsa, baby. 
about uh, we only have uh, less than two hours left we can drive today. So I have to park it somewhere and then run the rest of it. Nice road glide, like what I got. Uh, I have to run the rest of it uh, in the morning. Good looking flatbed. Well, anyway, there you go, guys. We'll see you. Probably won't see you again today. We might do a nice shot of the truck. Um, we'll see. If it's not raining, we might do a nice shot. I gotta get some uh, pictures, nice shot pictures. So we might do a little nice shot of the uh, of the ride. One last time before it goes away. Anyway, we will see y'all in Tulsa. Yeah, have a good one. Well, we uh, are arriving in Tulsa to make this delivery. It is uh, 10 after 7. I don't think they open till 8. But I'm hoping we get this kicked off fairly quickly. And we get to continue with our big plans in Tulsa today. So anyway, I Google mapped this place and it does not look like it is Peterbilt friendly at all. So it could be uh, quite the interesting delivery. Turn right. What? How many lanes we got here? One, two, I don't know. There's no arrows, there's no signs. I'm going to assume the left one goes left and the right one goes right. Um, yeah, so I don't have the camera prepared uh, for any mirror mounts. I, I got to step up that game, I really do. Uh, but I don't know how to shrink the picture in a picture as well. My picture in pictures are too big and it winds up blocking part of it. You know, it's very hard, man, editing that, editing a picture in a picture. It's extremely difficult. But we will get there, I promise. Just hold what you got. All right, my turn. I'm gonna need all the road I can get right here because that curb right here on my left. Okay, now we gotta turn right. That's what they say. Well, anyway, yeah, we Google mapped this place and does not look, I don't know what they're gonna do. You know, I don't know what side of the road. I think it's gonna be on the right side of the road as well. Oh, so it's a bit nerve wracking, man. I'm scared. I'm scared, rookie. Come on. We stopped on red. Y'all see that right? We're gonna go on red. We'd had the hours we could have come over here and spent the night across the road there on the left. Anyway, this is my place right here. There used to be a chicken joint, no, it's a Dairy Queen. They closed it up. So, this is my place that I'm delivering to right here, which is closed. Uh, yeah, right there between, right there on the right is where we're supposed to go into, you know. And it, I, I got news for you, man. It just is not going to fit in there, you know. But that's the gate, so we uh, going to stop right here in the parking lot, and uh, we'll figure out how to get into the gate in just a moment, you know. So there you go. We'll keep you updated. Okay, just like that, we are empty, and. Uh, They had loads right here on the side of the road with a forklift and a pallet jack. So we are good. Another job well done. The only problem is they were short a uh, swimmer, which one of them long hot tubs. Uh, and the truck was full. You guys seen the truck was packed. What is the shipper load count? And I marked the shipper load count. And uh, but yeah, they were short. And those swimmers retail about 20 grand. 
but I made sure they noted on the bill of lading that item was short, truck was full, and sealed. And uh, there's an agent copy to see about. There was a guy trying to give me a load out of Oklahoma, man. Hey, like that. I'm like, dude, I could use a load out of Oklahoma for sure. Uh, you know, could use a load out of Oklahoma for sure, for sure, for sure. Some cool beans. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the journey. And we will see you on the next one. Y'all have a good day. This has been Irek at the TNA Truck Stop in Branford, Connecticut. We're looking for Tim Gorley. If we don't find him here, we'll find him on YouTube on Life is Good. Come on.